Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by TheBimGuys.com. We're going to show you today how to align patterns on a wall. Now you can see here I have some brick patterns. I've just used a standard Revit wall that comes with a Revit brick on metal stud. And I've brought it around the building and maybe throughout the day editing and changing and adjusting things. I may have ended up with some of the brick patterns you can see jumping off. So how do we lay this out? Uh, for two reasons. Number one, so it looks good. And secondly, so the people who are going to be doing the brick work, actually it has some type of modular logic to it. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go to my plan view. And you can see here, here's just, we've got a door again. It's just a standard Revit door, one of the newer ones they introduce. And I've turned on masonry frame, so it embeds into the element here. Uh, the next thing I'll, I've done is I've set up a quick a little elevation so we can just jump to it. Now what we have is, you can see at the end here, we actually have two different patterns. Because maybe behind the wall, the material changed or there's something going on. And you'll have this periodically where the patterns do not match up. So my recommendation is pick an edge and then start your brick, right? Just like if you were a mason, you would start with a full brick or you'd start with a half a brick. But you'd start with some type of module and then continue across. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with my align command. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. And uh, before I do that, you see it says wall center lines. I'll probably choose wall faces, but we can still just hit the tab command, tab, and pick the edge. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick a full brick, maybe right here. And you see it sets that full brick on the corner. So this sets it up to go all the way up the, the wall here. And so now we have a nice clean brick to make that turn. Now you will notice that this brick does not uh, align with the, it does not align on the top. It's because it's off a little bit. You can see that it's actually sank down further than what it's supposed to be, at least the pattern is. So we need to get that pattern right. Now this piece of the wall actually has the pattern correct. So we can either align it with the, the level or we can use an existing brick. I'm going to use a level now. So I'll say align. I'm going to use the level. And I'm going to say start my first brick maybe right here. And you see how it adjusts it. It looked like it jumped up, but actually it took the whole pattern and slid it down. This is just a repeating pattern. It goes on forever. So you can pick pretty much anywhere and it will jump. So now we've got this looking good and this kind of looks good. We could probably fake it, but it's not a true brick coursing in here. We've got a couple of these bricks that are kind of short. You can see right here. So we're going to walk it across. We know this edge is correct, right? So we choose that edge. I'm going to reach way over here and I'm going to pick this one. Now, sometimes you'll pick the wrong one. See how it actually put the wrong brick in there. Don't panic. Just hit a line again and then choose and then go back and choose again. And you'll see how now we have a nice coursing working our way across. As we move across the building, you may also decide that these patterns, when you do move them like that, if you want to lock them to the edge, you can. So if I hit a line, and let's pick on the, uh, again, the brick, the edge, and then I'm going to come over here and pick here, I can lock that. So if this wall moves, what's going to happen is the pattern is going to stay aligned with that edge. Uh, again, we could do the same thing over here as we were walking across. Now, the next one we'll do is we'll walk across to the door. And you may see this in real life. It's when you walk up to a door that there's a little sliver of brick either on the end or most times the masons will move that sliver back and bury it in the coursing here. But what we want to do is we're going to say, hey, why don't we just go ahead and make our project mathematically correct so the masons, when they lay it out, they don't have to fight with this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pick my wall, okay, my brick pattern, and I'm going to say, hey, take that opening and align it with the opening here. Again, hit tab a few times. Whoop, wrong one. Let's try that again. I'm going to hit align. And I'm going to choose the one right here. So I zoom in, pick it, and then I'm going to hover, pick it. And now you'll notice that we have the relationship here is a nice series of, of brick that go on across. As we come across here, since this is 13.4 from here to here, you can see that the coursing works its way across quite nicely. We could then repeat the process as we go across. Again, align, and then I'll come down here and I may pick, let's say, full brick. And notice it's, again, aligned up. So now what I'm doing is I'm walking this across. If I have any windows or openings, I can continue playing this game to get my walls correct. So there you go. That's some quick tips and tricks on how to get your walls uh, cleaning up nice and Revit.